On today's how-to segment, I'm going to show you how you can conduct a meeting, whether it's a business proposal or even collaborating with another business associate, and I'm going to show you how you can do it without actually having to go to the meeting in person. We're going to save you time in travel and we're going to save you money in travel. We're going to do it using a program that I came across called GoToMeeting. It's made by the folks at Citrix and I found it to be a really feature rich pack for being able to have meetings over the internet. There's a number of softwares out there that also do this. For example, WebEx is one of them and they probably compete against each other. But I did happen to like this GoToMeeting for a couple reasons uh, and one of them definitely was the cost. But enough about that, let's just show you how you can do it. So what I want to do today is actually show a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Once you install GoToMeeting, it puts this little toolbar in Microsoft Outlook. And right up here, you can see I can go to an instant meeting right now or I can schedule a meeting. When you schedule a meeting, it simply says, when are you going to have this meeting? So you pick a date uh, that works for you and your colleague and you pick a time and then you get to choose some information. Are you going to do it over the internet completely or do you want to use a phone as well? The cool thing about GoToMeeting is that it, it will actually allow you to send your you know, business partner or your potential client a dial-in phone number and an access code and this is really professional if you're in business to be able to send that. So I'm going to say provide both and I'm going to hit schedule. What happens is it immediately creates an Outlook meeting. And this is perfect because now it's in Outlook. I'm going to get a reminder in Outlook. When I sync it with my phone, it's going to put a reminder in my phone so I don't forget about it. And the body of the message, it gives me the link that I go to and my meeting people go to. But it also gives me, like I said, that dial-in access number. So you simply dial that number, put in your access code, and bang. You now have a conference call going live while you're at your computer. Once they log in, you get this little thing um, on the screen here. They call it the control panel. Right off the top, once they've logged in, and you can see here I've got Christine Turner, a colleague of mine, who's, uh, who's also joined this meeting, I can decide what I'm going to show her. And if I click the drop down, I can show her just the screen, so everything that's on my screen. I can also just choose the application. So if I didn't want her to see any of the instant messages that pop up or any of the um, types of things that I might get uh, while we're in the meeting, like uh, emails and whatnot, then I might just want her to see that one application. But I know Christine pretty well, and it doesn't matter to me, so I'm going to show her the whole screen. Well, I'm going to go into my PowerPoint presentation. And this is where I found the software very powerful because not only, I just have Christine in here right now. I could add unlimited number of attendees. You could have 20 people, 30 people, 40 people, or even two people, it doesn't really matter. But once I'm in my presentation, I have the ability to do a whole bunch of really cool things because they're seeing everything that's on this screen. So, for example, I can click and I can choose from a number of different tools. I'm just gonna grab a highlighter here right now. And I can actually highlight sections of the presentation that I wanna draw attention to. Very powerful. Everyone's on the phone, we're all talking, but they're seeing everything that's on my screen. At any time, I can actually give any one of the people in this meeting control over my computer. So I can give them control over the mouse and keyboard. That would allow them either to physically edit parts of my presentation if we were collaborating or you know highlight some things that they wanted to point out and bring attention to. And one more powerful thing about the ability to meet online is that we can also see what's on each other's computers. And this again becomes very powerful because if Christine wants to show me something that she's got on her PC, I simply hit the change presenter button and now she's empowered to show me everything on her screen or only the things on her screen that she wants to share. It's a very powerful way to meet with people without actually having to be in the same room. Now I'm not saying uh, you should always not have meetings with people in person because you probably get pretty lonely just sitting in your office by yourself. But you know, in hard economic times, saving, saving time and saving money by being able to have very powerful meetings over the internet is very important. So this is one way that you can do it. The software is called GoToMeeting and you can check it out at GoToMeeting.com. I think you can even try it free for 30 days.
Gotta get connected.